Lorraine Westberger, bonjour. Bonjour. Un grand merci d'avoir accepté l'invitation de la fringale culturelle. Nous nous étions déjà vus précédemment et c'est avec joie qu'on se revoit pour parler aujourd'hui de votre actualité en librairie qui s'appelle « L'art et la manière de conclure en beauté » disponible aux éditions Fleuve Édition. Comment est né ce roman I've, I've always loved tennis. Um, I'm a casual player, not particularly terrific at it, but um, I've been playing since I was a very little girl and I've always enjoyed watching it. Um, and as you know, my previous books have been about um, fashion and celebrity and I thought it was, tennis is really um, an interesting juxtaposition of the two. Um, we are We know a lot of the top players by their one name only, Maria, Serena, Venus, but um, we, we do so because of how talented they are and how hard they work, not just because they're you know, another pretty face on the red carpet. So I was interested in sort of seeing behind the scenes the, the glamorous side of tennis. Alors effectivement, à travers votre personnage, Charlotte Silver, qui a 24 ans, qui est 23e dans, dans le classement, mais ce n'est pas suffisant pour elle, elle voudrait être 10e, euh, on vous amène les lecteurs et les lectrices dans les coulisses euh, du, du milieu du sport euh, féminin. Le fait que ce soit aussi le sport féminin, c'est important pour vous Yes, definitely. Uh, this book focuses definitely on the on the women's side of tennis, and um, you know, a lot. There's a lot of similarities between the men and the women um, in terms of the travel schedule, where they go, how the training, um, how many weeks a year they're competing, and now, um, thankfully, equal prize money for both the men and the women. But I think there are a lot of differences as well. And based on my research and and what I learned, I think it's it's harder for the women to do what they do. Um, when you look at the top 10 men in the world, a majority of them are married and quite a few have children. Um, and when you look at the top 10 women, none are married and none have children. I think it's much harder for the women to sustain relationships, um, romantic and otherwise, when they're, when they're uh, traveling on tour like this. Alors là, depuis tout à l'heure, on est très très sérieux dans les questions. Euh, limite, on s'amuse pas, faut qu'on s'amuse parce que votre bouquin c'est drôle, c'est euh, facile à lire, c'est un plaisir de lecture. Euh, vous vouliez toujours parler de ces sujets sérieux, mais en amusant votre lectorat. Yes, you know, I think that that I, I, I would agree that um, that is a general theme in the books. You know, with these, I'm trying very hard to. Um, have relatable characters and, and like you said if I can make someone laugh or have them um, you know have it be a little bit of escapism um, that to me is the highest compliment so in this book yes Charlie is a professional athlete but I do think that um, one does not need to be interested in sports in general or tennis specifically to relate to her she's also I hope, um, more like the girl next door. She's got the same sort of interests and dilemmas and um, she's trying to navigate her path and find a balance between work and her romantic life and her family and her social life um, the same way that women the world over are always trying to do. So um, I do think her story is more universal, um, but it's definitely set against this very sexy, glamorous backdrop of the professional tennis circuit.